Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to hear directly from Marvin Eder as to how he learned from legendary heavyweight Olympic champion weightlifter John Davis as to how to train for pressing power. In a recent interview with Marvin, he also talks about the secret of developing superhuman pressing power, which is the development of shoulder strength, which he believes was, as he called it, the seat of strength for the upper body. Let's hear directly from the legendary Marvin Eder. Uh, I just want to get now to the to the last questions on on the secrets to your strength. And and you've this is a direct quote. If I can just grab my notes here. This is a direct quote from you, um, from one of the muscle mags that I've read. Uh, you've mentioned, and I want to know whether this is true, You, this is your uh, own words. The deltoids are the seat of strength for development of uh, the upper body strength. Is that correct? That is correct. So in, in, your, correct. in your opinion, are you saying that having strong deltoids is the secret to upper body strength? Impressive, right? Absolutely. Makes a lot of sense as well. It does. Well, I enjoy very much the standing press. The standing press with very heavy weights in excess of 300 pounds. Repetitions. Hmm. Sets of two and three repetitions with 300 pounds hmm. or more. Right. Like that. And I would have gone on to improve quite a bit if I didn't lose my amateur standing. Hmm. But Bob Hoffman <laughs> uses attack dogs to make me lose my amateur standing. Hmm. They had that idiot in those days. Oh, well. Um, but I mean... So I, I get that you were very strong now. I, I'm starting to understand that you were a very strong presser because you loved performing uh, explosive workouts with, with uh, pressing 300 pounds or more for, for sets of two to three repetitions you've mentioned. And yet it sounds like you had um, both a very um, strong tensile tissue in your bone, thick joints, and as you said, that limited flexibility may have actually helped in stabilizing the weight even further. I, I agree with that, yes. Hmm. I do agree with that. Um, would, agree with that. Would, would you say you had this especially in your shoulders and therefore this is why you had such phenomenal pressing power? Yes, the deltoids, that was the secret of the power. I've, I've, um, I've heard you say that before in other interviews. Um, can you, can you, uh, in, I guess, uh, emphasize or explain more what you mean by, by the deltoids being the seat of power? Do you mean the seat of power in the upper body? Is this also why you were able to, to um, break the, the record in the bench press then? Because you had such incredible deltoid strength. Yes, I agree with that. Yes. Um, how did you train for this superhuman pressing power that you had? So, so how many sets would you do? Because you've mentioned that you would work up to over 300 pounds doing reps of 
two to three rep sorry sets of two to three repetitions but how many sets would you do like this i think i would do no more, no more than five a set right okay okay that's about all that's great what I did. Now, as we have heard in this interview, Marvin Eder describes the deltoids as the seat of power and explains the simplistic way to developing pressing strength, which is to train heavy, of course. Marvin would use up to 300 pounds or over, performing two to three reps for five sets, as recommended to him by the legendary heavyweight Olympic weightlifting champion, John Davis. For those of you who may not be familiar with John Davis, John Henry Davis was an American heavyweight lifter, and between 1938 and 1953, he was undefeated, winning two Olympics, six world and 12 national titles, and set 16 ratified world records, seven in the snatch, four in the clean and jerk, two in the press, and three in the total. Who better than to learn from, at the time, than John Davis? Now, having heard from Marvin Eder, if you wish to incorporate such training into your routine, it would be advisable, of course, to start slow and build up over time. We are not, unfortunately, all Marvin Eders. As training for higher sets of lower reps is essentially a form of high-intensity training as you are approaching maximum poundages. I do have also a new booklet on my website that does explain Marvin's accessory exercises and how he incorporated his pressing power workout along with training his other body parts. But having said that, Marvin does recommend that if you are specializing on strength, one should not focus on strengthening other areas of the body at the same time. Performing Marvin's press workout of five maximal sets of two to three reps could be easily combined, for example, with squats, pullovers, chins, bench press, and curl, and he, you, would, you would pretty much call it a day after that. So I do hope you have enjoyed this interview with Marvin Eder, where he explained his pressing workout. It is no wonder he was called the original Mr. Intensity. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, especially if you haven't done so. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Marvin Eater's bodybuilding and power building principles and workouts, please visit my website for new ebooks covering his several advanced specialization courses on developing muscular power and endurance using the chin up and dips, developing a massive chest and bench pressing power, as well as another booklet just came out on developing shoulder pressing power, all on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com. Further, you will find a large selection of autograph photos from Marvin Eater, each unique in its own right. These are highly collectibles, also available on my website, www.goldenerabookum.com. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.